so I know the owner of a particular organization. I've known them for years. It's a big company, huge company. And we go out to dinner. Um, we go on vacation. He knows my life. As a matter of fact, he's a little bit older than me, the owner of this corporation. Um, so he pretty much knows most of my life. He knows my education. He knows how I think. He knows my skills, my talents. Knows a lot about me. We've formed a pretty good bond. And to be honest with you, he's pretty much with me everywhere I am. Maybe not physically, but he's right there. I can call him any time, right? Sometimes if I'm, if I'm worried about something, give him a call. Sometimes if, uh, you know, uh, I experience something really good in life, give him a call. I accomplish something that I'm proud of, proud of give him a call. And then I ask this friend of mine, this uh, CEO and owner of this corporation, does he have any openings? Because I want to work for his company, right? I um, want to be an employee. And he says, well, Sean... I'm going to need you to go to uh, Human Resource and um, fill out an application. And uh, we'll see where we uh, go from there. I would have a problem with that. I would have a problem with that. I would be like, you know me. Why, why, why do I have to do that? I mean, I understand that, you know, Maybe I need to fill out some paperwork to make it official, you know, but, and then we'll see where we go from there. So there's a possibility that I won't be hired. I would have a problem with that. I would say, you know me. Why do I need the middleman? Why do I need to speak to these people? And like, why? And that's the same thinking that I have with the Jehovah Witness organization. Let's just, for argument's sake, that, you know, let's say that I actually used the name Jehovah, which I ditched uh, a few years ago, um, trying not to really uh, use that, that particular name. But let's just say, for argument's sake, you know, Jehovah, God, you know. Um, wh why do I need... The middleman, why do I need the organization? Right? If they were to come to my door and let's just say, you know, they started preaching again door to door. And let's just say, you know, I had someone that didn't know who I was and I played the game, right? And say, oh, oh yeah, 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 I read the Bible all the time. Well, do you know Psalms 83, 8? Oh yeah, yeah, oh very well. Yeah, that's, that's God's name, Jehovah. Yeah, I have a very good relationship. Okay. Um, well, we wanted to invite you to... Uh, invite me where? Well, to our kingdom hall. Like, why, why are we still talking? I said that I read the Bible. And I said that I have a relationship with Jehovah God. Right? Why are we proceeding? Why... Aren't you saying, good for you, have a nice day? Why? Why are you pursuing uh, this conversation further? Right? It's like, you know, I have Verizon. That's my, my carrier for uh, my cable, my internet, phones, all my phones, all my children's phones. Everybody is Verizon, right? A little pricey, but... 
you know, um, yeah. And when you're walking around the mall or certain places and you get stopped by a salesperson, they got these tents up and it's like, hey, what's up, man? Let me let me talk to you for a minute. How's your how's your phone service or whatever? It's like I'm with Verizon. Usually once you say that, it's like, OK, you know, maybe they say, you know, hey, they got a promo going. Maybe you want to give them a call and uh, take advantage of this particular promo that they got for this month. But usually they let you go. He's one of ours already. Right. He's one of ours. I don't need to keep I don't need to continue this this sales pitch. If they were, because I got some, sometimes you get some, you know, I guess, newcomers, and they'll say, um, yeah, uh, so we're offering, if you set up a line, and sometimes I just engage, I'm like, you know, uh, and this happened recently with me, it's like, yeah, you set up a uh-huh new line, and if you join Verizon, we have, an, I said, you, you, you just didn't hear what I just said. You didn't hear what I did? I'm with Verizon. You are so interested in your sales pitch that you're not listening. I just told you that I am a part of your company, right? I'm with Verizon, right? But you want to keep going um, for whatever reason because you don't like listening to people. Um, so... You know, I give people uh, something to think about, hopefully. Um, I got a nice, comfy uh, sweatshirt, the Think sweatshirt, uh, shameless plug. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like, what do you do when someone says, I have a relationship? I have a relationship with God. Why are you still going? Isn't that it? You can have a wrong relationship with God. You can be doing it the wrong way. Right? How, 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 is that, how is that possible? When you really think about it, you know, and they'll say, well, there's guidelines, there's God put, uh, I guess, in the Bible the way that God wants to be worshipped. Okay, okay. And let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm off a little bit or someone is off a little bit. I got to pay for that? Oh, I got to pay for a lot, right? I got to pay for even not knowing how to do something in a technical manner the right way. What are we in school? It's like, what about, what about my intentions? What about my heart? What about that? See, a lot of Jehovah Witnesses try to overcomplicate God. You know, you got to do this, you got to dot your I's and cross your T's when it's all about just love. When it's all about, you know, uh, love. And when it's all about just love, right? Appreciation, gratitude, living life uh, to the fullest, uh, um, you know, uh, utilizing your gifts, helping your fellow man, your neighbor. Uh, like, why are you complicating things? Why are you adding these hours and uh, uh, titles, full-time, you know, pioneer, or auxiliary, and, and elder, ministerial? Why are you adding all these things and making it a prerequisite to your uh, relationship with God. Why are you doing that? I'm talking about the governing body. I'm talking about the leaders of your organization. They know what they're doing. So it's even worse than just like, oh, my bad, we're getting it wrong. No. You know exactly what you're doing. You know? Um, so I don't need a middleman. I don't need a middleman. Going back to the CEO, that CEO is God. That corporation is the world that we live in. That company is the universe that we live in. And if I have a relationship, why are you sending me or why would I need 
an organization that represents you when you know me personally. You know me personally. Ask yourself that. There are people right now within this organization that is petrified to be without it. They are petrified to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. It's like I need my agent, right? You're going for that movie. You, you build a relationship with the director, but you still want to go through an agent. Why do you want to give your agent 20%? You know the director already. Why are you going to, why do you need that backup behind you? What do you need it for? You got, to, you got the director's number. Y'all going out to dinner tonight. What do you need the agent for? Because it's what you're used to. That's your crutch. This organization is your crutch. And let's be clear, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, uh, you know, with, 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 you know, being a part of a community. But it just so happened that this community is, 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 is staring you in the wrong direction. You don't need it, you know. But I understand that it's, it's, it's scary, you know. But like anything else in life, you can get used to it. Once you have this relationship with you and God, you got it. And you can get used to it, just like we got used to walking around with freaking masks everywhere we go. You know, it's, it became so just natural now. You don't even think about it. You'll have it off, you'll walk into a place, you're talking, you're like, yeah, so um, and you start putting it on. It's like it, it, we as humans become accustomed to almost anything that's thrown our way. You don't need the middleman. You don't need the organization. With that being said, as always, just I just ask you to do one thing. I'm looking in the monitor right now just to see how it looks. I like it. And it's real comfortable. Right? It's real. It's soft. It's comfortable. It's cozy. This is my Think sweatshirt. Uh, click the link in this uh, description somewhere up there. I have to let people know, you know, and I'll do a little tutorial real quick. There's a lot of people, and I have no problem. I'll, I'll keep saying it as, as many times as I need to. They say, hey, how do I get that shirt, right? Um, there is, I guess, a drop-down box wherever the title of this video is. There's a little arrow, press the arrow, Information will come down, my email, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Cash App. Just email that, uh, that email in there and just say, hey, interested in, uh, in a shirt, a hoodie, sweatshirt, or whatever. Uh, make sure you say think, you know, because we have other merchandise uh, relating to my music. And then you'll be directed to the right person, Matt. Matt Gorbin handles all of that stuff. And, uh, yeah, and you can get this. There's some other styles, but I appreciate all of y'all. Uh, I thank all of y'all. I'm grateful to all of you. And, um, yeah, subscribe. I never say that. Subscribe, like, comment, you know, but definitely describe and put on the notification. You know, I think that bell, that little bell on YouTube, you know, to let you know that I posted a new video. And, um, yeah, uh, just think. That's all I ask you to do. Love.